This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an alarm lock. This is a Chinese-made padlock that provides an additional layer of security by incorporating a siren into the lock. What happens is when the alarm is activated and the lock is jostled, a loud siren will sound, alerting the owner that their lock is being tampered with. To use this lock, we use the prominent core that sticks out of the right side. You can see it's a smiley type lock. And I've seen these in both slider sidebar and pin tumbler designs. And this one's pretty clearly the slider sidebar variant. We know that because there is no Bible sticking out of the top here, no place for those driver pins to go. To operate this lock, we insert the key and turn it clockwise and that allows you to remove the entire shackle. Now note that one end of the shackle has a cutout and the other does not. The reason that's important is that there is a small button down one of these shackle holes. That activates the alarm. If you insert the shackle such that that button is pressed down, the alarm will be active. If you insert it the opposite way where the button is not pressed down, the alarm will not be active. So let's activate the alarm and test out the sensitivity of this alarm. But before we do that, I am going to put a piece of tape over the speaker, which significantly decreases the volume of this thing. It is ear splittingly loud and it's late at night right now. I don't want to wake anyone up right away. This should tell you a potential security flaw with this because it can be significantly attenuated just by sticking tape over the top. Okay, let's arm this thing now. Okay, now we're going to lock it up. And what I want to do is test this by tapping it with the handle of a lock pick. Okay, that was the warning. What that means is that we exceeded the threshold for jostling. If I were to do that one more time, the alarm will sound. There we go. Okay, so what I want to do is see if we can pick this lock open without setting that alarm off. Uh -oh. Okay, let's be very careful with this. And we're going to tension this with one of these Y tension wrenches. They're usually used for holding the shutters open on car locks, but they work very, very nicely here to tension that core. Okay, I think that works. Now let's get a tiny little flag and get to picking. One is loose, so is two three. Okay, four might be binding. Got a little click there. And five is binding. I think we got something out of him as well. Pulling back, let's start at the front again. One is still loose. So is two, three, Okay, four. Okay, got a little click out of him. And nothing on five. Oh, another click out of four on the way forward. Okay, the pick's getting a bit stuck in there. Let's see what we're stuck on. I think that's slot number one. And he's not moving, which probably means that we are in false gates. So let's give it a little manual counter rotation. See if we can lift up number one. Okay, got him set, I think. Number two. Number two is stuck as well. I'm giving a little manual counter rotation. I can see we dropped number one. We'll have to go back to him in just a moment. And I think we set number two. Back to one. Nope, one's not. One's loose. Okay, getting some more out of two now. I don't think I set him. Hmm, 
2 is being a little bit tricky. I'm not sure what's going on with him. Let me check all the other pins, or sliders, I should say. 1, 2. OK, we just got a click out of 2, and I think he's set. Let's get one, which we saw drop while we were working on two. And we got it open. Okay, so certainly not a really easy pick, but also not a terribly hard one either. So it can be opened, I think, pretty easily without exceeding the, the threshold of setting that alarm off, but you do have to handle it with some care. I actually tried that a couple times before starting this video, and the very first time I did set the alarm off, just the act of dropping into a false set exceeded the threshold for jostling. So you do have to approach it with some care, but if you do approach it with care, you should be able to open up without setting the alarm. So that's all I have for you on this Chinese-made alarm lock. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.